Hello, friends. Uh, today we will be discussing about a very interesting topic, which is NFT. Okay. If you haven't heard about NFTs uh, before, then I'll be really surprised because I think in 2021, probably towards the later part of the 2021, it uh, became quite popular. Uh, you know, NFTs everywhere on news. But if you miss the news, then you should know what is NFT is as well, just to uh, keep track of things, uh, you know, what's happening around. So, um, so what is NFT? So it's um, non-fungible as uh, non-fungible token. Okay, I thought asset. Okay, NFT, non-fungible token. Um, okay, and what is a non-fungible token? Okay. Now, in the world of uh, cryptos, uh, you know, if you are familiar with cryptocurrency, that is kind of a similar to cryptocurrency. Um, so let me just, uh, well, I don't have any kind of uh, PowerPoint slide uh, to show you uh, NFT, but uh, let me project, uh, you know, the NFT itself, okay, the, the wordings, okay. so. So what do you mean by NFT then? Okay, non-fungible uh, token. So fungible, probably English is not my first uh, you know, language or uh, not my mother tongue. So I probably did not know what fungible mean. Uh, so, uh, so you could say non-fungible is uh, non-transferable. That's, uh, you know, a unique thing and it is, uh, you know, unique to you, for example, uh, if you own a property, um, a house, it's, uh, you know, you are the owner. So that is, uh, you know, kind of a documents or property deeds, uh, you know, in your own name. So that is not transferable. Okay. Um, so, well, it is transferable, the property transferable if you sell it to someone. Okay. So uh, non-fungible uh, in the sense it uh, kind of a meaning what I understand is uh, it's kind of a unique Okay, it's uh, it's unique to uh, a specific um, kind of a, you know specific thing. Let's take an example. Um, you know, uh, Mona Lisa as uh, you know, it's a very good example. Mona Lisa, uh, the painting also by da, da Vinci, Leonardo da Vinci. So um, uh, that is unique. You know, uh, there is only one uh, Mona Lisa there. Okay, and that is the reason why it has got a lot of value, okay? So that uh, that means uh, when, you know, in the art uh, and crafts industry, if you see some of the paintings, uh, you do not appreciate, uh, you know, why someone is paying millions for, uh, you know, specific kind of a sketch or, you know, a paper with uh, some kind of an ink on it and, you know, it's uh, been sold with, uh, in, in millions. And the reason, uh, you know, the, they have some value probably is uh, after the human basic needs are all taken care. So now, you know, the, the way our human psychology works is if something is rare and, uh, you know, we, we want to uh, get that feeling that, uh, you know, that rare thing is uh, mine or I own it. So that's kind of an ownership feeling, okay? And uh, that is where you know you have that uh, concept of uh, you know the entire art gallery and uh, the art museum. It all came came in existence. And non fungible token is exactly the same concept, whereby anything which uh, you know is a uh, rare, okay, um, could be uh, could be made non fungible, non transferable, non um, kind of uh, a very unique, okay, non fungible is unique. And token, what is token? Now, token, if you see, um, you know, on um, blockchain technology, okay, we do not know what blockchain is or ledger is. Uh, it's in very simple terms, uh, you know, ledger is where you record things, okay. Um, so uh, for, a, for a shop, uh, you know, uh, they they journalize things you know like uh, every every businesses you know small business if you have um, you know um, seen uh, you know small businesses uh, at the end of the day in the night uh, you know after one uh, one day of trading they they just uh, keep a note of okay what is their incoming uh, what did they buy what did they sell and uh, you know whatever is the balance outstanding or what is that they um, uh, they owe or uh, it's owed to them. 
So that is, you know, uh, a ledger. So the blockchain is uh, a technology whereby the ledger is maintained uh, digitally, okay, online by not one person, but multiple people. Let me just, uh, you know, explain you in a more clear way. Um, so like, for example, the biggest ledger industry or people who keep track of transactions are the banks, okay? Now banks, uh, you know, uh, they keep track of everything is digital. So, uh, you know, you know, in the world of, uh, you know, that like, uh, you know, credit card, okay? When we are going away from uh, currencies or notes and coins, uh, everything is digital, okay? So digital means these are only uh, numbers, okay? So I have certain amount of money in my bank account, that's just numbers, okay? not in terms of uh, paper notes okay now those uh, records of those uh, uh, you know uh, the transactions okay if i pay someone uh, you know by credit card if i swipe credit card and uh, some amount or my debit card and some amount is taken out from my bank account so that is journalized that is uh, recorded in the bank's ledger okay now bank's ledger i said okay but uh, in in the case of uh, blockchain so there are multiple uh, people or multiple ledgers are maintained by uh, you know multiple people online on the internet okay on the machines okay there are there are machines out there okay which uh, you know 24/7 they are running well they are uh, you know kind of a lot of energy um, they consume that's also another kind of a cause of concern as well all around the world and uh, you know in China as well, you know, the reason why the blockchain technology is not taking off as much as in uh, in the US is because of, uh, you know, they have uh, you know, this, the electricity scarcity, you know, because these kind of, uh, you know, machines, which records uh, or go for these transactions all all the time, which records the transaction is, uh, you know, it's kind of zero and one, it's uh, you know, always this binary, as you know, uh, computer only understands and it always, always functioning. And that is a huge electricity it, it requires, okay? However, these machines all around the world, okay, records uh, the transactions uh, in, in something called journal, okay? Journal is what is in a bank where I used to record it, or they're still recording it, but in, in um, blockchain technology, that is not the case, okay? So that's multiple machines, um, you know, connected all around the world through internet, they are recording those transactions, okay? So non-fungible token in the sense, uh, in, in very simple terms are a non-replaceable, unique, okay? Um, tokens, that means ownership, okay? Uh, it's uh, ownership through a blockchain technology is what is NFT, okay? So non-fungible token, if you are buying any NFT, you are buying the right, the ownership of, and non-transfer, not transferable asset. Usually what is that non-transferable uh, thingy you can say is a digital uh, certificate of a specific uh, art. It may be art, maybe uh, recently I think Jack Dorsey, uh, Jack Dorsey, you know, the, the founder of uh, Twitter, his, I think, uh, you know, his uh, first tweet, uh, you know, I don't know how it, it got a token or ownership how, of whatever, you know, it was, it was worth millions, I guess, uh, you know, somebody bought it, uh, you know, the first tweet. So I don't know how the tweet can be bought, don't ask me that, but somebody bought it and that was worth millions. Why was it non-fungible? Because this is unique. Jack Dorsey, I mean, Twitter's first uh, tweet, it is unique. Okay, that is the reason why it has got a lot of value. I mean, people think that they have a lot of value, then the perceived value was much higher. But, uh, you know, uh, for the people who do not have their basic needs taken care of, probably that doesn't make any sense at all. Anyways, so NFT has blown up, I guess, uh, you know, quite, quite big and, uh, you know, uh, sorry, I'm getting a call. Um, and, uh, uh, and it it may go uh, you know as well uh, you know uh, go further as well. But uh, is that a way to make money? A lot of people are also getting into NFTs, just like you know blockchain or cryptocurrency. 
Um, so I I do not know to be honest, and uh, you know I I believe this is kind of a gamble. Okay, it's a kind of a speculative thing. Okay, you do not know. I would not know a certain uh, you know tweet of Jack Dorsey will uh, how much I would pay. I won't pay a single penny even. Okay, but I won't pay a single penny. But uh, you know someone is willing to pay millions. Okay, or it was sold for millions. So that means for different people, the perception, the perceived value is different, okay? And that is the reason why if you want to get into, somebody wants to get into NFT, they want to make money out of it. Uh, you know, I don't know how that is possible because how would you know the perceived value of something to for somebody else, okay? Um, so this is kind of a you know gambling thing, I, I would say that uh, it's very high risky, um, risk thing, you know? Uh, but it is, it is going really, really big now. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, companies and uh, you know sorry a lot of lot of people are uh, you know getting into NFT world and uh, it may um, blow up further as well. Um, but this is probably going to stay uh, uh, NFTs or a digital currency because this is where you know instead of uh, you know uh, monetary transactions involved here. It's here, uh, you know, uh, the, the, uh, we are talking about transacting or recording the transaction in, uh, in the ledger um, uh, for a specific, uh, you know, specific uh, digital asset, okay? Um, so it, digital asset, uh, you know, it could be even uh, physical asset, uh, you know, the record maintained digitally as well, okay? So hope uh, you know everyone understands now the NFTs and uh, if you um, have better explanation or if you think that uh, you know uh, let me know what do you think about NFTs and uh, should we be involved or not and uh, you know your clear explanation of NFTs so please please uh, you know um, comment below so that I am done over and out.